Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at soft engineering strategies used to manage the coastline. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, Coastal Landscapes. Many coastlines are protected by soft engineering. This is using strategies that work with nature. They are cheaper than hard engineering solutions and look more attractive. However, they are usually less effective against erosion and flooding. Soft engineering strategies include beach nourishment, which is also known as beach replenishment or beach recharge, beach reprofiling and sand dune regeneration. We're going to start off by talking about beach nourishment, which simply means replacing lost sediment. It is also known as beach replenishment. It is important to replace lost sediment because a wider beach means that fewer waves will reach the back of the beach as there is more sand to slow the waves down through friction. The beach absorbs wave energy, therefore reducing the rates of erosion. There are two main ways to replace lost sediment. Beach recharge where sediment is dredged from the seabed and pumped onto the beach. Bulldozers are then used to spread out sand across the beach. And this normally happens every five to 10 years. Or beach recycling, where sediment is collected from where it is built up down drift and returned up drift using large trucks. This usually happens twice a year. Beach nourishment has lots of advantages. The wider beach attracts tourists, which is good for the local economy. It also protects local people along the seafront from coastal flooding and a wider beach absorbs more wave energy, which puts less pressure on the seawall, reducing maintenance costs. Finally, beach nourishment looks natural and improves the look of the beach. But there are some disadvantages. Firstly, beach nourishment can take several weeks, and during this time, people cannot use large areas of the beach. And secondly, it's not as cheap as many people believe, as hiring a dredger and bulldozers is expensive, and it needs to be repeated regularly. Our second soft engineering strategy is beach reprofiling, which uses existing sediment from the beach to artificially reshape the beach after destructive waves have removed sand and shingle. In spring, bulldozers are used to move sediment back up the beach following winter storms. This process ensures that the beach remains large enough to provide effective protection against erosion. The advantages of beach reprofiling include having a bigger beach protects against erosion so residents feel safer. It is much less expensive than repairing flood damage. It costs about £30 million over 25 years and it looks natural. But the disadvantages include when beach reprofiling takes place, bulldozers restrict access to the beach, especially during winter when beaches are popular with dog walkers. Major reprofiling can be expensive, which might happen after a storm, and the beach is often given a steep and high crest to protect the coastline against waves more effectively. However, this can look unnatural and it can restrict access to the sea line for some beach users. Our final soft engineering strategy is sand dune regeneration, which means either restoring existing dunes or artificially creating new ones. There are several ways this can happen. Planting vegetation such as marron grass so the long roots can bind the sand together. Fencing the dunes off to stop them being trampled while they become established and the fences will also encourage sand to collect against them building sand traps to catch windblown sand or adding extra sand to wind eroded dunes, which can then be shaped into gently sloping dunes. It is important to regenerate sand dunes as they provide a physical barrier between the sea and land, and they protect against erosion and flooding by absorbing water and wave energy. There are many advantages to sand dune regeneration, Established sand dunes protect the land behind them and they are often popular walking areas, such as pine woodlands. Sand dune planting projects are small scale so they are cheap and they are usually carried out by volunteers from local wildlife trusts. And sand dune regeneration maintains important wildlife habitats including birds and lizards. However, there are also some disadvantages. 
Sand dune regeneration often involves fencing large areas of the beach off, which can have an impact on tourism. It also has to be carefully managed and checked regularly to ensure that the dunes are stabilising. The measures put in place to prevent damage from tourism can be expensive, such as boardwalks and fire warnings, and also clearing areas for fire breaks. In addition, fertilisers are sometimes applied to vegetation to help it grow quicker. This can have an impact on wildlife ecosystems. Finally, sand dunes are dynamic ecosystems. Even when they are established, they are not particularly stable and they can be damaged during storms, which will take a few years to recover from. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on soft engineering strategies used to manage the coastline. Thank you for watching.